All right, this is day two for bucking up at Heather's. Uh, she's a sweetie, I ain't got to see her yet. I've been busy. Uh, what I'm gonna do is move, uh, I gotta move Big Daddy's dozer to the next job. We're gonna clean this one up with the skitter. Junkyard's wide blade can handle this one. I was gonna clean up stuff for Stevie, but Stevie wanted me to, uh, I'm just trying to make it to where I can get everybody out of here. We've been working straight through. <laughs> Get that nose removed and come back here. He said, Don't fire up that loud saw first thing in the morning and wake everybody up in the neighborhood. I said, Steve, this, this is corn country. Everybody's already out. But no, he's right. So let's get down there and let's get Big Daddy's nose removed and get back and help Steve. While Stevie's cutting up there and loading out, we will get all the logs hauled out today on Stevie and Derek's little job. They've hauled for two days now. Well, a little bit of hauling. It's not been many loads, but uh, Derek and Roger basically cut it in a day and just barely over. <clears throat> and it had plenty of fence trees and stuff like that to do, you know. So it's just kind of a one of them jobs that ties up a bit of labor, but it's good wood and uh, is good landowner, uh, good people. Uh, <clears throat> need to take her time to do a good job. But while they're back doing that, what I'm trying to do is do a hopscotch, a leapfrog type of thing. So meanwhile, while Stevie and Derek's doing that, and I got the people in the hydraulic shop rebuilding a swivel on the uh, Super Kitty, I've been on the other side moving tiny. Uh, one, uh, tiny, the dozer, Brutus, and uh, I think the dozer was the last name, the last thing, wasn't it? And also uh, moving her equipment in for them so Derek could keep cutting. I wanted to keep Derek cutting, so I was move. I just basically been floating everybody back and forth and around here, there, and yonder. Um, <clears throat> but this here on my right, this is one of the landowners on my right here, one of the landowners on the right. This is a lot nine landowner job. We'll get into it in the next videos to come. But it was a. Uh, this job is is going to be a cool job for YouTubes, but a very complex job to do for the logging. So we'll get into it in the next videos to come. But anyways, this is the big job we're going to, the non-landowner job. And we was using Stevie and Derek's little job uh, on Heather to uh, leapfrog this thing so we can keep the wood rolling while we slow down to fix the Super Kitty and fix... And Stevie and them get that job done.
Sorry about the hit. I don't know what we're gonna call this one. It's a pretty good size job, not a large, it's a large job, it's not a big, big job. We're gonna to refer to this one as a nine landowner's job. There's nine landowners went together to make a baker's dozen. Oh, it's kind of short of a dozen. But there's nine landowners went together. Now, if you're out there and you're watching this for ideas, get your Forester. Always get a Forester. If you got a small tract of timber, it's not in a, it's not going to attract um, highball loggers, highball companies. If you get along with your neighbors, which I don't care what you're doing, you should always get along with your neighbors. If you get along with your neighbors, you can go together and you can put a big job. You can turn your property and a few other properties into a larger job. The larger the job is, the more attractive it is to larger companies. You'll get yourself a bigger profit margin and stuff like that for the same timber. You know, but I mean, there is, there is jobs that's made for small companies. I'm not, I'm not knocking small companies, but a small company's probably gonna share log it. He's gonna hire his trucking. He's gonna sell it to a sawmill. It changes hands so many times. If anybody's gonna make a living, it drives the person that foots the bill for that is the landowner. So if you don't have the opportunity, then by all means, get it share log. There's a lot of good share loggers out there. But if you can throw your properties together in a neighborhood and make a, entice a larger company to come in, you, uh, you know, you'll get, you'll get paid more money for your product. So just, just a little tip there. the last tree Junkie brought in. That's a big old fork and poplar.
should be able to peel it open. We'll see. We'll see if this works. It's Stevie's idea if it don't work. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing.
got her, bud. We fucking got her, bud. F-O-K-N. I didn't cuss. Fucking. Okay, for some reason, that's all I got on Heather's job. I didn't, uh, I was always in and out, and I just didn't get, Derek done a good job. Roger tried really hard, done a good job. We all picked up sticks. We got all the sticks. Sun come out. We took uh, the neighbor, a little bit of the ash, leftovers, uh, a few of the chunks uh, for the neighbor. And uh, we picked up sticks and stuff, and I think we did a decent job of finishing it up. It slicked up pretty decent. Junkyard did a lot of the pushing with the blade. And I carried trash off of and checked for the uh, BMPs. We just done it with a skitter. It was small. Uh, one thing we screwed up on, and I feel terrible about it. And Heather, if you see this, I'm so sorry on behalf of all of us. Two days later, we all get to arguing back and forth, and somebody said, no, it was Roger. He told us, he said, Heather, put that gate back up. I go, the gate? What gate? Derek said, oh, my gosh, we took that gate down, and we never put it back up. So, out of all the things you remember, you forget something like that, it makes you feel terrible. So, Heather, if you see this, Dalton, if you see this, tell Heather we're sorry. I felt terrible about it. Uh, it's just a loose end we slipped. I went, I walked right through there myself picking up sticks, and I didn't even think about the daggone gate. I never even... It never registered in my damn pea brain at the time. So uh, I want to apologize for that to you guys. I'm, I'm sorry that we didn't get that task done. I hope you're happy with the job, the way everything else turned out. We was happy with the way it turned out on our end. And I hope we got the trash pile down over the hill and hid down there and camouflage in good enough to where you can still mow a big section of that. And hopefully it helped with the mowing and stuff. And I did end up moving a few... Uh, maybe blow down locusts. Does that sound right? Mute a few blow down locusts and stuff out there so you can expand the edge of your field there out there a little bit or mowing section there for the, for the, uh, the, uh, it's a sheep, wasn't it? I think it's a sheep. So, uh, anyways, sorry guys, I didn't cover enough of that job. I, it was a really cool little job, Derek and him. I should have just gave Derek a dag on camera. Should have gave him and Roger a camera because it was good. The stuff, some of the stuff they had to do inside this fence and everything was, uh, it had been exercising her uh, logging abilities quite well. So, uh, but it turned out good. I, I was pretty happy with the way they did her cutting job and stuff. So, it, it, but it's, you know, Heather's the boss. It depends on what she thinks about it. But hopefully she's happy with it. I never did. She didn't, I didn't hear no complaints, but uh, something like that, you always kind of want to feel them out. You kind of want to see and talk to them face to face and see how the body language and stuff's going where they, you know, they say you did all right, but you can look at her face and want to kill you, you know what I mean? So, it, so I never got to do none of that stuff, so I hope it turned out all right with them anyways. So anyways, thanks a lot, guys. Later on. Thanks, guys, for watching. One thing I wanted to say is everybody out there, do be safe. Please. We all got to go home at the end of the night. There's other people relying on us, and let's not forget that. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day. Hey guys and gals, don't forget to go to loggerway.com for all your logging away gear. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>